today's video, I wanted to talk about this espresso machine right here. This is the Casa Brews 5700 Gen C, and you can buy it either on the Casa Brews website or on Amazon. It retails for $6.49 usually, and right now they do have a $180 off coupon on Amazon. It kind of goes up and down depending on different sales that they have going, different promotions. So if you were to buy it right now, you can get this for under $500. This isn't a paid sponsorship, but they did send this to me free of charge to review here on my YouTube channel and I'm really excited to share my thoughts and my opinions on my experience with this machine so far. I did just recently receive it so I'm still a newbie in trying to dial in and figure everything out. I am a huge fan of coffee. Coffee is my love language. I absolutely love coffee but I was also the person that wanted the convenience when it came to making an espresso, which is why I initially went the Nespresso route. It's just so easy, press a button, put a pot in, press a button, you got a great cup of espresso. And then I bought a semi-automatic, which basically does everything for you other than having to froth the milk, because I really wanted to like do my own latte art and things like that. And then we visited my brother-in-law in Missouri, which we are still here right now. I'm actually in our RV. We were traveling full-time, but we stopped here for quite a while and he has a Breville, I don't know if it's Breville, Breville, I say Breville. He doesn't have the one with the grinder attached to it, his grinder is separate. And I've just been really liking kind of like dialing in and making my own espresso every single morning. It's just, it's like a whole fun process. And I am such a newbie, I'm not a professional, I'm not a coffee connoisseur by any means, I'm literally a newbie when it comes to diving down the huge rabbit hole of espresso and espresso machines. Once you go down the rabbit hole in YouTube, there are so many great videos and so much knowledge. So if you're someone like me that loves coffee, loves espresso drinks in particular, and you want a espresso machine for at-home use that is fairly simple to use but you can still control some factors, then I honestly think the Casa Brews is a really cool machine. Today's video is dedicated to this machine here and keep in mind these are just my thoughts and my opinions on it and my experience using it so far. So it is a very solid espresso machine I will say. It's not, you know, no cheap plastic, very sturdy stainless steel body. You have the hopper here on top, the water tank in the back which is clear so you can see exactly how much water you have. Let me actually turn the machine a bit. So you can see it is, you know, it has weight to it, but there's a water tank right there. It is bigger than a Nespresso machine, if you will, but it is still, I would say, you know, pretty compact where you can put it on your counter and it looks nice and it feels like a quality espresso machine. So that's just from like first impressions. Those are my first impressions of the machine. And the nice thing is, is that it came with a ton of really cool accessories that you don't necessarily have to go out and buy. Some of these I did buy like a scale. I bought because I'm kind of diving into this whole dialing into my espresso. I bought this little um, measuring cup situation right here just for fun and then the portafilter, I don't even know what this is called, but like the stuff that keeps the grounds from spilling everywhere. Well, let me kind of zoom the camera in a bit and lower it so I can talk about some of the really cool accessories that the machine comes with when you buy it. The machine itself is packaged very well, I will say. I did a reels on my Instagram of kind of assembling it, if you will, but there really is not much assembly other than putting this guy on right here, which is probably the only plastic piece, and then putting the bean hopper on top. That is probably the only assembly that you'll have to do. The water tank does come come off so you can fill it with water. You can just pour water directly into there. And obviously this is packaged separately, the porta filter. But let me kind of show you guys what actually came with the machine. So when you unpackage it, you are gonna get the porta filter or the bean hopper, obviously the espresso machine. You're gonna get a tamping tool right here. I'd say also very good quality, has great weight to it. They didn't cheap out on that. It also comes with a distributor, which I think is really nice because this is something that I probably would buy. So it's nice that this actually comes with it. It just kind of helps to distribute the grounds once you go ahead and grind it into the portafilter basket. And then it also comes with a tamping mat. This is really cool because you can put it on the edge of the counter and it just makes the whole process a lot smoother, if you will, and just really nice overall. Let me take out the portafilter. I did just make an espresso, which is what I have right here. And I will, I will talk about the frustrations of that in a little bit, but let me go ahead and dump this. Just wanted to show that the actual portafilter has really good weight to it as well. I love that they have a little like silicone rubber bottom right here that you can either 
place on the mat when you're tamping or if you were to place that on the edge of a countertop it's so that you're not hitting stainless steel like metal to countertop so I thought that was nice and has like a really good feel to it definitely doesn't feel cheap and I have the double shot basket in here it also comes with a single shot basket let me kind of show you guys close-ups of that for anybody that is interested in what the baskets look like so this is the single shot basket right here and then I'm gonna pop out the, I was I wonder what this is tool, tool is for. Maybe it's for popping out the basket, could be wrong, but I couldn't figure out what this little tool is for, but came in handy just now. And it has the max line right here. So I'm gonna pop out this basket. This is what I'm gonna go ahead and wash it before I use it again, but just kind of to show what it looks like. Pretty standard basket, I will say nothing crazy. And then it comes with, you know, little tools, cleaning tools, like a needle, a coffee scoop, a, um, a brush, and then it comes with the milk frothing pitcher right here. The manual, which I do suggest reading if you're brand new, look through it. And then it also comes with an extra uh, coffee bean grinder right here. So I thought that was really nice. Not sure if that's because they usually have an issue or because it's a nice thing to do. I don't know, but I thought that was, that was kind of cool. So that's everything that you're going to get included in the price when you buy the espresso machine and assembling it like I said is a fairly simple very straightforward really not much to it just pop in the basket that you want put in the bean hopper put your coffee beans in the water and let the fun begin I'm not gonna lie when I first got the machine it was a little bit frustrating trying to dial in and again I am a complete newbie when it comes to dialing in with espresso and just all of that information there's so much information out there but i feel like this machine is fairly simple to use once you kind of know the basics then you're able to fine tune different beans and you know just really enjoy the process of making a good espresso at home and this machine makes it very easy to do that so i do already have the beans in there the water i'm going to go ahead and turn the machine on the beans in here right now i have never used other than this first shot that I just pulled, I was just kind of checking it out and it was a little flowing a little bit too fast. It wasn't really within, it was like barely within the pressure range, the recommended pressure range. It starts at 5, ends at 12, so it's probably like around 5, 6. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of dial in right now. I made the grind size a little bit smaller, so they recommend I think 8 to 10 if I'm not mistaken. I think I had it at 8 or 7 and I put it at like a 6.5 right now to make it a little bit finer so the smaller you go with the number the finer your grounds will be if you make it too fine then the flow might be too slow you might end up with really bitter coffee if you make it too coarse it might flow through too fast and you might end up with a weak espresso so I personally do enjoy if some people don't mind and they'll just kind of like you know espresso is espresso for me personally I just really enjoy the process so I'm just kind of sharing my experience with this machine they do recommend running a clear shot through the like with no grounds in it running it through so that it has the kind of reaches the perfect temperature and warms everything up so I'm gonna do that right now I will say one thing is that it is a little bit tough getting this in here no, nothing crazy but it's not like really really loose like you do have to put a little bit of elbow work into getting the basket in so what I'm gonna do right now is just run a clear shot and you're gonna insert your portafilter right in here. So this is the, when you press this button, this is what's gonna signal for the machine to start grinding the coffee beans. And you can set it to a specific time. All you have to do is press and hold. And whenever you let go, it's gonna register that time for all the consecutive times that you're gonna be using the espresso machine. I think the standard time it's set to is like 14 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. I did increase it just because I have a double shot going here. And I also got a scale because I'm kind of weighing it to make sure that I get, I would say, since I'm doing a double shot, I want 18, 19 grams of espresso. I'm going for like 18, just pop it in, press it against the back and it's gonna start grinding. All right, this does seem like a lot, honestly, but I'm going for about 18, 19 grams, so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it on my scale. I did already tar the portafilter just to make sure that it's not measuring that as well, and I am at, oof, we're only at 16 grams, so this might not, this might not do the trick. Well, let me go ahead and run this shot just to see. Place it right here on the edge. I'm gonna use this distributor tool to distribute the beans, or the grounds, the beans tamp it with even 
solid pressure. And then I'm gonna pop it in here, lock it into place. And then we're gonna run this shot and see what happens. Oh, not bad. You can turn it off whenever you want by just pressing the button. Like if you did single shot, just hit single again, it will turn off by itself. I don't know if there's a way to automatically control how much volume comes out. I'll have to look into that, but I don't believe that there is. So I should have timed it as well. I didn't even think to time it. But so far, this seems like a really great double shot of espresso. This beautiful, gorgeous crema. Again, I'm using these beans from Tantara Farms. It's a local air roaster. I have the beans right here. We got a five pound bag. And they are absolutely delicious in my opinion. It's like a very, it's a medium roast and it has the description flavor profile is caramel, hazelnut, and milk chocolate. We really enjoyed it, so we ended up buying the five pound bag. But this shot right here is I'm actually very, very satisfied with it. Now that I have my espresso, I'm gonna go ahead and froth some milk. I'm just using regular whole milk, honestly. Go ahead and hit preheat right here. You're gonna see that it's blinking. When it start, once it stops blinking, that's when you know that it's ready. And then you just continue to turn the nozzle all the way up to max or wherever it is that you'd like to place it to froth the milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot water to this cup right here just because it's been in the RV and it is pretty cold. I don't want it to cool down the espresso. So I'm gonna press the hot water button and the hot water comes out of the milk spout right here. I got these cute little cups at Target. They come in a set of two. This one's green, it says comfy, and then there's a red one that says cozy. But I'm gonna dump my espresso in here. Swirl around the milk. Usually you wanna do this right away so that your milk is not sitting around. I am not, again, a coffee connoisseur, so I do. My latte art is a work in progress, let me tell you that. Oh, look at that, absolutely awful today. But we tried, we tried, right? The important part is, does it taste good? Cause we can work on the latte art, but does this taste good? I would say so, very balanced. It's not bitter. This Brazil roast is pretty unique, I will say. It's really good, I'm really happy with it. We're gonna work on the latte art. This does get warm, like most machines, so you can keep uh, like espresso cups on here to kind of keep them warm. I might keep these two right here, I have my other one over there. That way they kind of stay warm. It looks nice, it is very solid, the parts are solid. I love that it actually comes with the accessories, like the dis distributor right here, the tamping mat, I think the tamping mat is really cool. The portafilter has great, like a great weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap at all, the machine doesn't feel cheap. I know so many people are so used to the Breville brand, like it's definitely made a name for itself for good reason, but using, I have used the Breville in my brother-in-law's house for like the past maybe month and a half at this point. I would say this is a really great machine and very, very comparable. It does the job and it does the job very well and bean to brew is just such a great way to go. That's one of the main reasons why I left Nespresso. For every single shot that you use with an Nespresso pods, it's about 70 cents to a little over a dollar. So it does add up. My husband, and, between my husband and I, we do drink quite a bit of espresso. So I really wanted a bean to brew machine, which is why we got the Cafe Affetto over there, which I have not reviewed yet. I might compare the two. Even though they're completely different, it's kind of like compa comparing apples to oranges. They are both bean to brew, but that one's more automatic where it literally just does everything for you. But there are some things I don't like about that one. This one is very comparable, I would say, to the Breville model. It's straightforward, it's simple. You got, as long as you have yourself some great beans, and you kind of are able to dial in. You can get yourself really great cafe quality espresso at home in my opinion. Cheers to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of mine. These are just my thoughts and opinions and experience with the machine. I will leave any links down below if you guys are interested to shop. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you guys in any future videos.